Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to be doing the weapon run of the century. Now for those who don't know, you can get the katana from up there, the flare gun from the cockpit there, and there's heaps of flares here. Now the weapons I'm going to be getting on this run are the climbing axe, chainsaw, machete, modern bow, and the tennis racket. And the pedometer is near the tennis racket as well, so I will be getting that. And for those who don't know, you actually need the rebreather to get the modern bow. And I have that. Just make sure you've got it, otherwise you won't be able to get it on this run, so keep that in mind. So let's go. Now I'm not playing with mods on, if you're wondering. I just have very good video editing skills. Now here you're supposed to use the rock climbing axe, but you can get down by hopping down. I should actually, um... Because I can't see, you'd be able to see, but I can't see. If you attach boost the weapon, it makes it brighter. So you'll be able to see a bit better. It's not much, but it's some. Um... And I don't want to get my axe wet. Doesn't do anything, but just don't. Now, after this first bit here, you're going to come across... Oh, I jumped on that little piece of wood. All right. After you come across this bit here, you're entering into cannibal territory, so I'm going to energize up. And it sounds like they're asleep. Now you can run past them, depends on what they're doing as to what I'll do. Uh, I'm not going to engage because there's nothing here. So it's a waste of time attacking them. Now, if you're going to run, just jump up here. They can't get you up here. Well, I don't think they can. And you'll see down here, there's a couple of cannibals. Oh, there's one over there. I'll walk down. Lots of babies. And the rock climb axe is over there. I'm just going to run over and grab it. I've got time to read a pamphlet while I run past you guys. Bye, friends. And walk along here. We're heading to the chainsaw, the new chainsaw location. And there's some ammo and a image here. Then you climb this rope. And then you climb this other rope. Now this is where you need to use your explosives. Throw that there. Now there's one cannibal and a few babies are behind here. Looks like the cannibal's asleep. Obviously, a massive explosion wouldn't wake him. Sleep on the table. This should kill him. Yep. That easy. That easy, boys. Take it away. And there's some just goodies here and stuff like that. There's another cannibal. Ah, oh, put the picture away, man. Stop obsessing. Beat him to death. Now, I'm not going to bother burning them because I am really lazy. There might be another cannibal somewhere around here, but I don't think so. I think it was just Jeffrey. We'll call him Jeffrey. And you come through here. I'm doing this on hard survival if you're watching this as a guide. But there's usually suitcases around here. There might be one for me. Because I'm special. Yep, only one. Usually about two or three. And we go up here. There's a couple of passengers. I think there's only one. And the chainsaw's right here. There you go. And some chainsaw fuel here. And it was one piece of rope. Now you can go out that way to exit. <laughs> Stuff that, mate. We're keeping this adventure going. All right, so once you have grabbed your chainsaw, keep going around here. Doesn't matter which way you go, it comes to the same way. Yeah, I thought so. There was one left. Now we're gonna go back. Kill him, because he's annoying me. Little giggles. Okay, now we're going to go back the way we came. Shouldn't have done that, uses all my staminas. Uh, 
I'm just going to jump down here. Um, yeah. Jump down there as well. Just be careful. It's like a, a bee's dick length between taking fall damage and not taking fall damage. There's nothing in this little lake. Now we've got to run back through our friends here. Obviously there's a lot, but we don't need to fight them. Just skip. Go up here. Nothing in there. There's a watch on this woman here. So make your bomb if you need to, in case it drops. And there's a camcorder tape down here. Now there is some suitcases down there. Push the light down. It's not worth it. I'm just going to jump. You just back and jump up into the corner. And there you go. You're up. Now there is a cannibal and some babies down here. They're probably sleeping and I will dispatch with them as accordingly as such. Now stealth attack is like a headshot. It does a lot of damage. Oh. Alright, he's dead. And there's one passenger there. Oh, there, there you went. And then you keep going. Up the rope again. And you come along here. And then we come out into the sinkhole. The sinkholy holy oli o And there is some things here. There's some flares in here. And an image of a cache. A cache. I'm pronouncing it right. A cache. Um, there's a bottle of booze there. Now I'm going to drink a bottle of booze because I have no clean water. Just lowers my energy a little bit. But that's okay. We can work with that. Now the chainsaw used to be just in there. But we've already got it. So what we're going to do. Actually no. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to show you the proper method because there's a tent in here and you can save because we're about to turtle shell it down, man. Okay, now there's just some babies in here. There's not many. Easy to dispatch. You can shoot them with a bow or just use a Molotov. Whatever your weapon of choosing is. There's only four. And then I'm going to collect all my arrows. So yes, I recommend you save because we're going to be turtle shelling it down. Okay, I think I grabbed all my arrows. Honestly, you never use the chainsaw. You don't need the chainsaw in this game. The amount of trees you've got to cut down for your strength is just insane. Now you can rock climbing axe it down if you're not the hero type. You just come over to say around here and you can attach your thing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turtle shell. And hopefully I can get up before they come. Okay, they're here. Now I'm just getting up to a ledge. See, now there's a lot of armsies around here. Be strategic about this, what you're going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat first. And I might drink... No, I don't need water because my energy's up higher. You just want to block as much as you can. But don't block from behind because they will mess you up. Alright. They're getting awfully close. There's the machete. There's Mr. Armsy. But we're not engaging. What we're doing, we're heading up to the door around here. Oh, by the way, if you take a rock climbing axe and touch it straight up, that takes you to that ledge we were just at. So... Pretty cool. Ah, piss off, you peanuts. Aeroplane peanuts. Once you're through... Used up all my energy. Once you're through, there's this little land bridge thing. Uh, from what I have seen, there's nothing down in these lakes here. Though underneath me is... Timmy's toy leg. For the achievement. The bugged achievement. Now we're starting to get into some dicey territory here. 
We're about to run past some cannibals and some mutants. So I'm going to light my weapon on fire because uh, I just want to be able to see where I'm going. They're already beating each other up. Now this is a room that has two armsies in it. They're fine. You will need a bomb to open up an uh, area. It's just down here. You just want to throw the bomb. And just avoid damage. And then you can walk in. I just picked up a tape then. I don't know what's down here. I can't see. If you can see. Now they can't follow you in. If they do, obviously they will die. Now I'm cold, which is... Gonna drain my energy a little bit quicker. Okay. Now I'm gonna get him to open up this for me. Because if I turn my back, they will hit me. But this is the room you're after. And you wanna put on your rebreather because you are about to go for a swim, friend. And we're not dealing with any of this. Because I am just not interested. Maybe if I can get the uh, Virginia to... You've got to piss them off. Come on, yes! All the babies are jumping in too. There we go. You don't have to fight them. Lure them into this uh, water hole. This is the route to go to get the modern bow. See, I just dispatched of all of them and I barely lifted a finger. I hope you do the same. Once you get in here, you have full-fledged access to the modern bow, courtesy of the modern bow. Now, I need to light my fire, because this is actually my playthrough, so I need to play properly still. So I need to do that and heat myself up, and I need to boil some water. And at the bug this is going on, I can drink the water instantly. Kind of convenient. Heaps of medication. There's some flares here. Two suitcases at once. Multi-talented. I'm going to make some flare ammo. I never use a flare gun. And it's clear based on the amount of ammo I actually have for this thing. Now you can save and sleep here if you need to. There's no air canisters I don't think. So if you ran out you'd be freaking ballsed up. And it's another booze on the wall. Typical. Glitchy McGlitcherson. This would be a cool area to build if you could get here easier. I wonder how these guys got here. And destroy the fire. And it's the same route out as the same route you took in. Orain. Oraus. Now, I am going to get the tennis racket. What's down there? Ah, stuff it. I don't want to get sidetracked. That is a story for another time. She's all the way over there, but I need to eat meat. Okay, I can take this off because I no longer need it. I'm going to light this so my energy doesn't drain as quickly. There is some enemies up here. As you can see, they're angry in the distance. Anger in the distance. Ooh, that was close. I wonder what's in there. You could blow that apart. We'll get them to hit it. If you get cannibals to hit those um, unbreakable things, the things you need to use bombs for, they can knock them down for you. Any cannibal can, or mutant, or baby. Just get them to light it up. Cave entrance one. Nice little photograph. And then we go up here. Okay, now I have used my rebreather tanks, so I might just quickly use another one. You could almost finish this game with one rebreather tank. Now, those two armsies that we passed, they were through this window here. 
You can see. But you can't break this down. It says you can place a bomb, but it doesn't do anything. And I need to be conservative because I am playing hard survival mode. Okay, you're going to come across some more frenemies. You just dodge them. Because you are the dodge meister. What's the German word for dodge? Hopefully it's not Chrysler. Okay, and you climb this rope here. This is a long ass rope, man. When you're up here, you can jump this, apparently. I've been told by some of my commenters as subs. Hopefully they're subs, not just commenters. You can jump it. I think you could, but it's a long fall. Oh, no. This fall down there. Jesus. You don't need it at all. It's the next rope. You come out here. Now, I need to... You probably could jump that as well, but... Yeah. You could always build something underneath yourself. Just a single rock wall should do. And it will give you enough leverage to jump. Up the next rope. And take the next rope. And then this is where the modern axe used to be. There's a restraining order. And there's an armsy up above. He's up and behind that little barricade there. For veteran players, I know exactly where it is. Because everyone used to come here to get the modern axe. Well, just about everyone. There was two locations for the Monax. Now there's only one. See him over there? Hi, friend! Alright. Now, one of Timmy's accoutrements is here. Timmy's arm. Now, I'm going pretty well with this. It's an arm, so I can add the arm. I'm not going to add the leg because it's pretty glitchy, so... Head down here because this down here is a good stash of things. What's the soda box doing there? Now, I'm going to switch to the modern bow, because I am no longer using this crafted bow shit. There we go. It's daytime. I can hear the birdies for some reason. Okay, I'm not used to this bow. I'm not used to this bow at all. Oh, they turned around quick. Oh, I'm caught on the box. Thank you, friends. Yeah. Open up all these cloth things. This is probably the best area to get rope in the game. And there's dynamite and flares. Now we're going to go down and get the tennis racket. I'm going to eat first. Now you can turtle shell it down, but I actually am not very familiar with this area. So I don't know where I would land or if I ricocheted and went down the waterfall back to where I just climbed up from. So I don't really want that. Okay. Now there is a photograph here. Yeah, that's a picture of where the key card was. Us. But I've already got it. And climb down here. I now have all the accoutrements, all the necessary items to finish the game. I'll let go. Okay, now this is the area where the tennis racket is. And there is a Virginia and some cannibals here, so it's a bit of a tough fight. I don't think it is, but you know how these things are. Uh, what could I fight them with? Bone arrows. Oh, I'm not used to this. Okay, yes, that is sufficiently more damage than the previous bow. That is for sure. Oh, no. Need to make some bombs. Okay, I'm filled up with bombs. Yeah, lots of tennis balls. There's a cannibal over there. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on him. Oh, there's two. It's a weird way to die, friend.
Oh, there's another one. You found me. Right in the skull. He's dead, but he's not at the same time. Let's see what happens when we do this. <laughs> Is he cooking? I don't know. I'd say he's dead, but the game hasn't detected that he's dead. Oh, there's a fire there. I could have just saved a couple of sticks and leaves. There's a pedometer, pedometer, and I've walked past a tennis racket. It's around here somewhere. That is so weird. I can't get over that. Tennis racket somewhere around here. There it is. It can move around a lot. And if you throw an explosive and it hit the Virginia, it could knock it flying. It's an unpredictable system. Oh, now he's dead. Now we're leaving this place. Never to return. Now we came up from that waterfall. That's why I was worried about turtle shelling it down. We're not going to do that again. We're going to climb up it like a sophisticated human. So we head up here. Get your rock climbing axe out. And do a little dance and shout. And we're back to where we came from. And we head up. Then we've got to dispatch that Arnsey and there's three cannibals in there too. Obviously you don't have to dispatch them. I'm just going to because I have plans for this place. Here we go. <laughs> Not me. Jeez, that was close. How did I end up here? I have a feeling I'm going to see an armsy drop off here soon. Me trying to trick them to falling off and I end up falling off. There we go. You stay down there, I'll go up here. Trade places. <laughs> You have to be careful if I ever go down there again. Yeah. You tricky bastard. Um. Red. Don't pray to me. I'm not religious. I wonder where that arms he went. I'm really curious. I wonder if the game would glitch and it's he would teleport up here. I should have killed him. I think I should have anyway. Because he might come back and haunt my dreams. He was close to falling. Because he's free. Free falling. And I can't see the arms there. That doesn't rhyme. Oh, he respawned back there. I want to kill him because I feel like this is just going to keep happening. Oh, Jesus. You're a character, mate. And you come up here. Take the next rep. How many reps is that? 500? 540? That's a lot. And you come out in the daylight. So there you go, tennis racket, machete, chainsaw, and the modern bow. And if you like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.